Welcome back. We are so excited to be launching our Foodie Friday segment. We have quite the array in yeah. front of us. We're joined feeling by... really lucky this morning. It smells <laughs> really good. We're joined by Eric Heider, the general manager of California Pizza Kitchen. Um, we're starting off our Foodie Friday segments with mac and cheese, leading up to the mac and cheese festival, but we also have a couple of other things yeah. here in front of us. Yeah, and we're sure glad you brought all of it. This, <laughs> this so looks good. really good. Yeah. We've so, got some amazing food today. Um, we're definitely excited to be, this being our first time mm -hmm. in the Mac and Cheese Festival. Mm -hmm. um, we're really solid with our competition game and we're very excited to be participating in showcasing what it is we have to offer. Yeah. Absolutely. So today what we're doing is we're doing a Chipotle Mac and Cheese made with ancho chili braised short ribs. So and we're starting. This is what we'll have at the Mac and this Cheese Festival. This is absolutely okay. what we're having okay, at the it. Mac and Cheese Festival. Cool. Yes, ma'am. So we start with the Casarici noodle, which is a really fun little S-shaped noodle that mm -hmm. cradles the sauce well and so you get all that gooey cheesy goodness inside Yum. of there um, we gooey cheesy ch gooey That's cheesy the perfect way we to love spicing it. it up with chipotle pepper so this is just pureed chipotle peppers oh. all together so this is where we get a lot of that good smoky seasoning okay so tossing that all together with the macaroni is what really elevates that flavor and gives it a completely different flavor profile than what you would traditionally expect um, with our short ribs we actually braise it with Mark West Pinot Noir, which is a delicious red Yum. Pinot, um, and reduce all that down with ancho uh, ch ancho chili peppers. And so the ancho chili peppers are, again, just something that help provide that extra boost of flavor that provides something a little bit from your uh, away from your traditional style of mac and cheese. Right. So in our mac, we're garnishing it with cilantro and with chopped green scallions. So again, oh each each of these fresh, um, fresh flavors that we add will continue to boost that flavor and boost that that, um, what, what the expectations are there and really elevate everything to a to a much bigger uh, burst of flavors than what you would traditionally expect. Right, this and this Alyssa's is the best part, in it. my yeah. opinion. Danielle doesn't eat meat, so I'm I'm okay with <laughs> I'm uh, not for having you to, to try share. It, though. Yeah, we yeah. can <laughs> dig in absolutely. So the sauce actually goes on top of this as well. So when we're serving it at the festival, we're going to be shredding all of the meat inside, Ooh, so everybody okay. will be able to have a little bit with them. With every bite. Ab absolutely, right. absolutely. So we're expecting nine nice smoky flavors. You should get a nice presentation from the wine as well. Yeah. And so you the add the rest of that sauce through. in and you toss the rest of that sauce Absolutely, the, and the whole the thing gets well. all, all mixed in together, exactly, is so you're getting some great flavors. Is this on your menu as well, or do you so just offer this CPK for the CPK is great at offering seasonal, uh, fresh seasonal inspired items, okay. and so we're constantly rotating and updating our menu based on what time of year it is and based on what, what we have to offer. Mm -hmm. And so this is definitely, when I think mac and cheese, I think homey flavors, and this is great soul food. So traditionally right. this is offered more in the winter time, so we're right. very excited to be bringing it back just for the mac and cheese festival. And that is this really is going to be tough it. to compete with, but Absolutely. it's great that you guys are getting out in the community and kind of showing a little bit more of what you guys can do. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so you know, yeah. we, we try to get our involvement out with the community as best we can. We do a lot of fundraising, and so we partner up with multiple different groups from for throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really easy to set it up. Um, essentially, we give 20% back of whatever sales are brought in awesome. on the day of the fundraiser, mm -hmm. and we can really help some really great causes because of that. So this is one of the seasonal ones. You guys right. have a couple of other new things, not at the Mac and Cheese Festival, but at California Pizza Kitchen. One of those is something that's pretty popular right now, the cauliflower. Yeah, this is Absolutely. interesting. And we'll have to see if it tastes the yeah. way that a regular pizza so does. I don't know. It's fresh, it's unique, it's something that's, again, at breaking the boundaries yeah. and is really going beyond what those normal expectations would be. So today we're doing our ca our carne asada pizza Ooh, on wow. our cauliflower crust. Our cauliflower crust, of course, is made out of Show cauliflower, yeah. egg, Ooh, and heavy. cheese. And believe it or not, we actually offer it as a gluten-free wow. option as wow. well. So we do have a completely separate certified gluten-free menu okay. in which um, we can we can offer those to people who are looking for that alternative option. Okay. So on this pizza in particular, we're doing a cilantro pesto base with Monterey Jack and mozzarella cheeses, a house marinated carne asada, roasted poblano peppers, yellow onions, and cilantro. Yum. So there's a lot of different flavors going on in there and goes well with that Chipotle mac, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you forget that it's cauliflower. Absolutely. It doesn't even grass. taste like cauliflower, right. but it still provides that crunch, so you still have that texture as well as the flavors that are involved with it as well. So, Absolutely. Good stuff well, we are running out of time, but I want to touch on you have the regular mac and cheese as well. We mm -hmm. do. Um, 
Um, the corn is interesting this too. This is our Mexican street corn. So it's roasted corn with feta, smoked paprika. Uh, we serve it with our bread on the side. It's basically a deconstructed version of like a Mexican style street corn. Okay. So that's a really fun appetizer. We do have some really cool options over here as far as our delivery and catering go as well. As you can see, we've kind of updated our packaging. So we also have our barbecue chicken chopped salad, our traditional mac and cheese. We now serve the br uh, sourdough bread from La Brea Bakery as a full loaf. Oh, that's uh, good stuff. That it's La Brea delicious. Bakery. Love Absolutely. That. We have our sweets platter, but we just rolled out on Tuesday our own self-delivery program. And awesome. so we're very excited to have our own people bringing it from point A to point B and delivering it to the hungry people of Bakersfield. Great. Thank so you so much, Eric, for coming in. We are running out of time. I know Emma's getting a little bit Poor jealous. Emma. <laughs> I'm going to make Emma a yeah. plate to bring. Emma, which one do you Give want? Give us a your order, cookie? Emma. I want all of it. <laughs> want, okay. okay. I'll bring um, a little bit of everything right now. Is that every, okay? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Everything <laughs> looks so good. My mouth is Mac watering. I might make myself a plate first. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. We'll get to you. Just make sure to save yeah. me some.